video a little bit different today and show you a tour of our apartment. So actually, my husband got this apartment before I even moved to Korea. So he did all of the searching for um, apartments. So um, can you talk a little bit about that? Um, so before you moved to Korea, I had been looking for an apartment um, close to both of our jobs. Oh yeah, it's important. Uh, which is in Gangnam area. Mm -hmm. so we both work in Gangnam. And I looked at so many apartments in this area and I found this. This was one of the better ones in our price range. So one of the big things was that we're both not very rich. <laughs> so we didn't have a lot of money, um, but we, we knew what our price range was. And so how much did you spend for the deposit on here? So our deposit like price of range mm -hmm. is thirty thousand dollars for a deposit, right? Yeah, for the deposit. Yeah, because there's two different kinds of like housing systems in Korea, right? Can you yeah. Explain that? Um, we have chonse mm -hmm. and worse, mm -hmm. or you just buy a an apartment. Mm -hmm. So our um, deposit was about around thirty thousand. And then monthly we pay about six twenty, so that's kind of the the, the breakdown of our, our cost here. But that's really how do I say like reasonable price because when I was in America with you in your apartment, mm -hmm. how much did you pay like monthly pay? Oh uh, yeah, so my apartment back home was about twelve hundred dollars, but we didn't have to put down a large deposit. So it was only a thousand, twelve hundred dollars for a deposit, and then twelve hundred every month, and then I would get that deposit back at the end of my lease. Mm -hmm. So it's a little different. So can you tell me about this apartment, like good things and bad things? Mm -hmm. Well, you did a really good job because I wasn't here with you to help you find this apartment. So you did a really good job on finding the right one for us. So I'm really like, proud of you. But we do have some couple negatives and a couple positives too. So um, the positives is that we're in a really, really good location. We're like really close to Gangnam Station. And, um, but we're also in like a quiet neighborhood. So it's not really noisy and um, it feels safe. And then also we have a really big veranda so we can have a place to put our storage. The negatives, I think, is probably living at the top of our building. It gets really, really hot here in the summer, and it's really cold in the winter. So we get kind of the extreme temperature changes. Yeah, don't you think that's kind of the, one of the negatives? Temperature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 여름 덥다, mm -hmm. 겨울 춥다. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, normally in Korea. When couples get married, mm -hmm. they start to look for a house together and the man usually gets like help from his parents for the uh, like apartment or house mm -hmm. and the girl's family helps like with furniture and um, appliances. Oh, so it's like separated like that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. is this the same in America? Uh, no, not really like gender roles like that exactly. Um, usually it's up to the couples to like buy everything themselves and um, you know they'll get a house like, together with their with their money combined but usually it's not like the families have to help them or like the wife has to buy just furniture. It's usually like mixed or blended. So let's give you a tour of our apartment now. So here is our tour of our home and um, it's not going to be very long because it's not that big but here we go. So um, we have our shoe area here first when you walk right into the door. Um, we always have to take off our shoes. And back home in America it's not as common to do that um, but uh, my family still did that because it's kind of like, gross we thought. So um, we keep that same thing here. And then we come into the kitchen. 
and um, we have our really nice wood table that we got from Ikea and um, really pretty I like it a lot and then we have our kind of small kitchen area and even though it's small it's still like very functional for us and works just fine so we even have a gas stove which I love that. I hate the electric ones. Don't, don't you hate those ones? Yeah, it, this is way better than electric one. Mm -hmm. And then we have our sink area, our faucets. Can you move it? <laughs> and um, let's see, we compost because we compost here. It's not really like a common thing we do back home, but um, I've had to adapt and learn how to compost here. <laughs> And then we have our cupboards. I'll show you a little inside. So we have, oh my gosh, so much ramen. I wonder whose that is. <laughs> In case war breaks out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're prepared with all our like yes. packaged ramen, okay. And uh, so we have our dishes there. And we have, we keep like our coffee and tea in here, snacks down here. Pots and pans here as well. And then we have our Ningjongo. And this is actually brand new that came with our apartment. So we didn't have to buy this at all, which is so nice. And yeah, we keep like, it's summer right now. So we have like cold drinks. Um, we have a lot of fruit in here, vegetables. I think we need to go to the store though because we're out of like meat. We can't just have dubu right now. Which is okay, I like Dubu, but we need some more. And um, also we have our freezer as well, just very basic, same. <laughs> yeah, simple. And then there is a like telephone right next to the fridge, which is kind of strange, but actually just like an intercom to downstairs. Okay, and then we have our rice cooker and hot water heater, like for coffee, tea, and microwave. And we got this at Ikea as well, and then we just bought these on our own. So that's all it is we have for the kitchen area. Um, let's show you the bathroom next. Okay, so one of the negative things about our house is that we don't have like a huge amount of space, so we have to be kind of creative with the distance between our table and the bathroom when we open this door. <laughs> Otherwise, it's kind of hard to get in. So here's our bathroom. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of normal, typical Korean bathroom. We have the shower connected to like the sink, which that took me a long time to get used to actually. I'm really used to back home where it's like a bathtub and a separate shower, but here I had to learn how to use like the sink shower. It was very like foreign to me. But it's, it's, it functions well for us, it's fine. Okay, and then we'll move on to our bedroom. So this bed here we got at Ikea as well. <laughs> I think everything we have is mostly from Ikea. And um, yeah, it's queen size, really good size for two people. And I have like my makeup and skincare, like, table, which is good. I can come here and get ready for the day. Also, I use my computer here too. Where did you get this? Oh, Ikea. I love Ikea. <laughs> I know, it's every, everything we have. And um, then we have our entertainment uh, like table, stand, entertainment stand. And this TV, actually kind of an interesting story. The person that lived here before us like, gave it to us as a gift. So we just kept it and it's fine. It works well, uh, nothing wrong with it. And we also have our closet. We got this at Ikea as well. Um, and it fits all of our clothes perfectly. We have like hangers in here and shelves. So it's perfect for us. And uh, we don't have much of a view just like one ginkgo tree <laughs> and buildings, but we still get enough sunlight in here during the mornings, which is good. Um, and then, oh, so yeah, we also have this door that separates the two rooms like this. So also we put in this curtain 
because in the daytime we get a lot of light from the veranda, which I'll show you next. And um, so this helps a lot. Look at this. Cute pen. I know, it's cute. Okay, let's show you the veranda next. Okay, so I'm going to show you our veranda now. First, we have our washing machine, and it was brand new when we moved in here, so that was amazing. So um, this is actually a really big veranda. We are on the very top level, so we are the, the only unit that has this much space in this apartment building. But um, we keep just like our random things in here, like our luggage, and um, I'm growing a little bit of a garden down here from my seeds. And uh, hopefully it'll grow a little bit more, but I'm working on it. And then we have our shoe closet as well. So we keep all our shoes in here. And that's pretty much it for the space in here.